Hi guys! So, I got a text yesterday from my brother-in-law and he was asking me what would I do in a specific recipe that called for butter. Now this recipe wasn't any old regular recipe, it's a recipe to turn a humble plain old cabbage into something that resembles a turkey for Thanksgiving. So I decided I need to try this recipe like right now. It sounds so interesting and I love roast cabbage. I've been eating it a lot, especially in tacos. If you see me on Instagram, you've seen that I have. I've been liking that roast cabbage in my tacos. So humble, plain cabbage. Somehow this is gonna turn into something like turkey. I'm gonna give the recipe a try on camera with you guys and see if we can make this work. Okay, so the first thing they say to do is remove the tough outer leaves, tough loose ones. This cabbage doesn't really have that. I'll take this one off just in case. The ingredients are very simple. You have your cabbage. It calls for dairy butter. So we're gonna use a vegan butter. This one is from Country Croc. I also have Earth Balance, or I was thinking I could just use oil, but since I have so much vegan butter, I'm gonna use this. Vegan butter, salt, pepper. That's it. So I'm just gonna mash it in a bowl with a fork. Smash that with a teaspoon of salt. Seems like a lot. Wow. It's like almost as big as the cabbage. Salt and pepper. Stab the cabbage about 10 times. Stab. Wiggling each puncture around. Alright, so we got all of our holes. Use your fingers to slip blobs of seasoned butter Yay. underneath the outer leaves. That is going to be hard, but I'm going to try my best. Well, it's easy to peel the outside. The one said, don't let the leaves tear. Lady, what kind of cabbage were you using that the leaves don't tear? It's like one leaf covers the entire head of cabbage, and then the other leaf, I just, I don't understand. Okay, in the very end, after you put it under the leaves, which clearly I didn't do, you're supposed to just put the rest of the butter just on the outside of the cabbage. I actually bought two cabbages because I figured I might have to try more than once. There you go. Roast this at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. Then add another tablespoon of the reserved butter to the baking dish. Roast that for another four and a half to five hours and then baste it with the pan drippings, drippings every hour. Okay, sounds good. Okay, now we're gonna take it out.
so it's been five hours. Actually, this process started five and a half hours ago. We have a cabbage, a dark cooked cabbage. Honestly, my initial reaction is that it took a long time and it doesn't even seem that tender. Mmm, salty. Very salty. Woo! It's like a giant roasted Brussels sprout. I'm curious because, like, the seasoning was all on the outside. Is it going to have any flavor on the inside aside from, you know, the delicious flavor of cabbage? But the salt, does it make it way through? Still kind of tough. Tastes like cabbage. It looks like turkey, though. Kind of. If you close one eye and, like, squint the other. I love cabbage. It's going to take me a long time to chew this, though. I do think there is room for improvement. I love cabbage and I like the outside of it. It's very, very flavorful. I think if I made this again, I might cut it in half, first of all, and roast it with both sides down. So I'm gonna try this again, and I will report back my findings to you guys, let you know how it turns out. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna eat this for dinner. Okay, so next day I've come back to this cabbage. I need to perfect this recipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half this time and roast it, um, not as long. And I think it'll come out better because before it wasn't that tender. It, yeah, sure it looked like turkey, but it wasn't that tasty. So we're just gonna make sure it's much more tasty. And I'm also gonna roast some vegetables to go along with it so that it's more colorful and more seasonal and festive. And so it's more hearty and filling. And honestly, it really needs to have the vegetables, in my opinion, to make it worth being the centerpiece of your Thanksgiving or whatever holiday table. Here are our cabbages right out of the oven. So I like where this new cabbage plant is going, cutting it in half. I ended up cooking it last time. It was in the oven a total of three hours. It's not as crispy on the outside as the other one was, but I think that's okay. other one was like the dry white meat from turkey. This one is like the juicy dark meat. Well, obviously it's not turkey because that would be terrible, but a lot more tender, a lot more juicy, a lot more tasty. It's great. Yum! So the full recipe for the perfected version of this cabbage turkey is going to be on my blog. I put the link down below. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more of me experimenting with strange vegan recipes that I find on the internet. I would love to do that. This is really fun and we got a really great recipe out of it. I definitely think this would be a great centerpiece for your holiday table. Just make sure you do the vegetables around it. Make sure you have nice, uh, hearty, and delicious sides to go along with it. If you need more ideas for Thanksgiving sides and other recipes, on the blog post for this cabbage turkey. I'm gonna share some there too. And also just follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna share more Thanksgiving inspired things. Like, you know what would be really great with this? Mashed potatoes. I have an amazing mashed potatoes recipe with a delicious creamy mushroom gravy. Linking that down below as well. Also subscribe to my newsletter because I'm also gonna share more stuff in there. And by the way, in my newsletter, I share a weekly meal prep guide. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. Okay, and last thing, while we're talking about the holidays, make sure you purchase my meal from Whole Foods. I created the vegan holiday meal for Whole Foods, and you can pick it up at any Whole Foods around the country or in Canada. Just make sure you order it online, and you can pick it up for Thanksgiving, or Hanukkah, or Christmas, or Kwanzaa, or any other holiday you celebrate around this time of year. It's super delicious. Even if you do want to cook, I highly recommend getting my meal too. But if you don't want to cook for the holidays, look, you don't have to. Whole Foods did an amazing job executing it. It's so delicious. It's I love it, okay? So make sure you check that out. Oh, I have to plug my cookbook as well. There are more really great Thanksgiving and holiday recipes in there too. Lots of good desserts as well, okay? Thank you all for watching. 
I'll see you next time. Bye!